Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. WinServe has announced a huge update on its AI code editor, which is uh, WinServe Web 9, and they have published one another model for the software engineering task, and its name is SWE1. They are frontier models built for engineering and uh, not just for code. Okay, so here you see that uh, this is the three models or three variation that they have published SWE1 Lite. Another one is this SWE1 and another one is this SWE1 Mini. Okay, so if you go to your WineSurf and if you update this WineSurf AI Core Editor, then in this model drop down, you will find these two models. Currently, it is free. So I will fully test this model in this video. So stay with me till the end. Okay. Here you see that why they have made this model or why they have announced another model because in the market there are many models are there which are performing well like uh, OpenAI, O3 Mini, O4, these models are there or this Cloud 3.7 Sonnet which is the most uh, popular model for coding it is also there then why this SWE so there are multiple reasons that they have written First of all, here you see SW1 optimized for the entire software engineering process, not just the task of coding. So as a software engineer, we daily don't uh, just write the code. Okay, we do multiple things like we do planning, we do uh, execution, we do the debugging if there is any issue. Okay, there are lots of tasks we uh, do before writing the code or in the middle of in the middle of writing the code. Right. So. This SWE1 model is actually optimized for that kind of uh, things like end-to-end -end software engineering task. Now, if I show you the details of these three distinct model, first of all, this SWE1 is the full uh, strength model. So they have also written this thing like full strength model for complex task. Okay. So approximately Cloud 3.5 Sonnet levels of tool called reasoning while being cheaper to serve. We know that Cloud 3.5 Sonnet has a good capability and it can solve solve problem in a more optimized way. But uh, here you see that uh, this SWE1 has a cheaper price than the Cloud 3.5 Sonnet. So that's why this is the best model we can use as an alternative to the Cloud 3.5 Sonnet. And it will be available to all paid, paid users for a promotional period of zero credits per user prompt. So now here you see that in my wine shop, uh, now it is showing free for a limited time. So as a free users, uh, you will get this access to this SWE1 uh, for free for a limited time. And in this video, we will use this uh, SWE1 model also for our experiments. Okay. And next is this SWE1 Lite and a smaller model that replaces Cascade Base at a better quality. It is available for unlimited use to all users free or paid okay you may be a free user or you may be a paid user it will be available for both and uh, here you see that uh, it this model is actually uh, an alternative to cascade base so previously they had this cascade base option here but now you see that there is uh, no cascade base this sw1 light is the alternative to that cascade base okay and also this sw1 mini a small extremely fast model that powers the WinSurf tab passive experience for all users free or paid so it is basically for the autocomplete uh, feature okay now another thing is that uh, they have done some comparison or they have given some benchmark so you should know this benchmark evaluation what they have given first of all this conversational SW task benchmark what is this actually uh, as a software engineer when we write code we don't write all the codes in one day right we write the codes in uh, every day then ultimately we build the product after two or three months of writing the code like here you see that they have written starting in the middle of an existing cascade session with a half finished task how well does cascade address the next user query and uh, this is the things this is conversational SW task benchmark. Okay, means you have started writing code uh, two days ago, and after two days, you are again uh, interacting with that code base or you are again giving the query to that code base. So, in that case, how well that uh, model will perform? And they have done this comparison with the frontier models like Cloud 3.5 Sonnet 
and they have found that this SWE1 model has a similar capability like the Cloud 315 Sonnet and also this SWE1 is cheaper and also it is beating the other mid-size models like Dipsig V3 and this uh, Cloud 3.5 Heiku or Coen 3 or Coen 2.5 70 billion instruct okay and another thing is that this end-to-end -end SWE task benchmark this is another benchmark that they have defined what is that it is uh, like a, um, uh, it is like a powerful software engineer who are doing the end-to-end -end task so previously I discussed about this conversational SW task benchmark where human was interacting with the models okay means human and AI was working together human was giving the input and AI is giving the output and if there is any changes required human was doing that that change and after that AI also uh, interacting with that code base but here in this end-to-end -end SW task benchmark here you see starting from very beginning of a conversation how well does cascade address for an input intent by passing a select uh, setup unit test okay so here the model is performing all of these things end to end without any human intervention and on that uh, here you see without any intervention uh, and here they have given this benchmark and their SWE1 he actually have the same performance like the Frontier model Cloud 3.7 Sonnet without the thinking capability and also with thinking it has the same like 0.23 difference with this uh, thinking mode okay so that's that means that uh, you are getting the Cloud 3.5 Sonnet like capability with a very cheaper price with this SWE1 okay and also it is beating the other models like Cloud 3.5 Sonnet, Dipsig V3 and the other Coen 3 and Coen 2.5 70 billion here you see that they have they have written many other things also so I have given this blog link in the description you just read these things and you will know, uh, got to know many things from this blog okay now let me go to this AI code editor by the way uh, if you have already downloaded this AI code editor when sir then just go to your profile and there uh, you will find this check for updates this is the option so click on it and after that your you will get the latest updated code editor of this wine serve now here i will select this sw1 here they have written this this is that it is free for limited time so i will use it and i will uh, paste my prompt design a threaded discussion forum with a voting and download down voting features in html css and js and now press enter and let's see that what it is doing so here you see that it is pretty fast okay now i have got all of these files html javascript and css and now what i will do that i will ask it to open it in browser open it in browser okay So now it will start a local server click on this accept run the command and now it is telling me that i have started a local web server you can access your forum by opening a web browser and navigating to this http localhost 8000 so let me open my chrome and uh, let me open a new tab and just type this localhost 8000 and now press enter oh my god it is really like a reddit like platform and here you see that it is a discussion forum and the ui is looking very beautiful and there is this upvoting and downvoting features also see here when i'm clicking on this downvoting it is going in negative also and when upvoting it is going upwards and uh, there is a reply option also if i click on this reply okay a pop-up is coming which is very cool and just write subscribe and then post reply okay subscribe is coming here and uh, also the date is given here that on which date and also there is a new thread option for new thread a pop-up is coming title content click on this post thread it is coming here so the ui is looking very beautiful and also there is a background color for all of these replies which is very cool 
and overall it is looking very good and i am very happy with this model with a single prompt it has given a modern looking output a modern looking web page so this model is very much beautiful and this model is very much good to me you also please try it on your coins rbi co-editor and please let me know that uh, what experience you are getting your thought please let me know in the comment section okay so see you guys in the next video thanks for watching and don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe this channel if you want to get this type of videos more daily and here you see that i have already met or already published many videos regarding this ai code editor ai tools don't forget to watch that videos also so see you guys in the next video thanks for watching